Hey everybody, today I want to share a time-lapse video with you of removing the battery pack from this Tesla Model S. Uh, one of the first things, I had bought a hydraulic table from Harbor Freight and we needed to get that set up. Uh, make sure to bleed the air out, add a little bit more hydraulic fluid, and then of course uh, clean up the floor after squirting hydraulic fluid everywhere. But once we got that out of the way, uh, a big part of working on removing the battery pack was really the prep work. Um, I made sure we had plenty of jacks. So we have a trolley jack on either end of the car. Uh, we opened the door to make a little more room to work around the back end. I've got a one-ton trolley jack, a three-ton trolley jack, uh, the hydraulic table, and then some of those uh, furniture movie do mover dollies with casters on them. Now even before this, I had already uh, set the car up on the cribbing, put the jacks under there, and removed uh, most of the bolts holding the battery pack on. Uh, what I'm doing now is I put on some blue tape, and the idea there was that uh, it would go across the battery and the frame of the car, and then I just cut the tape with a razor knife. So for putting the battery pack back on later, we'd just line up the tape. Uh, there was just a couple more bolts to take out. I took those out by hand. And with the weight of the battery being supported by the hydraulic table, then what we could do is slowly lower the jacks down on either end, uh, kind of one at a time, trying to keep the battery level. Uh, we did move the jacks around a couple of times as needed uh, for height uh, or uh, even just to be able to uh, move one of the jacks, put some boards on top to get some more height out of it. Uh, now we put those uh, furniture dollies underneath, uh, got the hydraulic table out, and so we're going to go all the way down onto those furniture dollies. Uh, we also had some cast iron screw jacks that were very helpful to uh, keep the battery pack from tipping side to side because it was sort of balanced between those two trolley jacks. Now once it was all the way down on the floor, then all we really needed to do was rotate the pack to pull it out. Unfortunately, there were a couple of aluminum plates on the back corners of the battery pack and the instructions for removing the battery pack tell you to take those off first but they also have a couple of little tiny steel screws going into those aluminum plates and they get corroded. So I actually had to uh, grind one off to be able to get that other plate off which was hitting on the cribbing. And once that plate was removed, then we could get it to swing out past the cribbing. Now keep in mind that these battery packs are very, very heavy. Uh, so we also made sure the, the floor was clean first. But still, it takes two guys and a bit of wrestling to move this 1,200 pound battery pack out. And then the other thing really was to make sure that you had plenty of space to work in. So we got the battery pack out, still had to move a few things around. And then we also wanted to rotate the battery pack into position so that it matched uh, the orientation it would be in the car, just to kind of help keep everything straight here. That's it for today. Make sure you like, comment, uh, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you set the alerts to all so that you get all the new notifications uh, because I'm going to have a whole series of videos coming out on how we fix this car and cross your fingers, hopefully get it back onto the road.